have these three tubes going into the right wing of the car. Two of them have been disconnected. The other one goes on down here. This pipe there is from the um, top of the fuel tank and is the vent. They are the pipes that go to a carbon canister and they're part of the system um, that stops hydrocarbons going into the atmosphere. I suspect these have been disconnected when they put the Edelbrock carburetor in. Inside the wing here, there will be the carbon canister. So I've taken one bolt out, which is in place with three bolts. And on the back side, similarly, there's a shield with the protective inner shield at the front removed. That's the carbon canister. Not sure what that is at the minute. And I just wanted to see what it was like, rust-wise. Um, they've done the sills on this car. These are all quite good. Generally looks looks okay. I'm going to uh, spray it with a a wax oil. I've chipped back the original coating where it needed it and where it had formed water traps. Uh, I've always used Dinatrol. 3125. Um, Steve recommended this alternative, which I'm going to try and give it a go. Again, it's going to form a nice brown uh, covering. I've uh, scraped down all the edges inside. Uh, and I'll spray all those and the one Steve recommended comes with a uh, a flexible lance which you can push down there and it sprays from all directions so I'm going to give this a good coating you can see how actually it might be a lot easier to get to that knuckle on the steering without that mud shield in place. Just out of interest. Um, I always put the the wheel that I've taken off under the car just in case it all goes wrong. It's not just sitting on that. That that's there as another precaution. Is all. Um, it's actually sitting on a trolley jack and an axle stand. Um, but when I first put it up in the air. Uh, then I use a combination of the trolley jack and this side jack until I can put the axle stand under safely. So at least I've got two two forms plus plus the wheel underneath should it drop. This stuff's quite uh, liquid to start with. If you spray it in some areas, it'll really soak. Soak down into the cracks. <sighs> I 
I use the whole can of uh, 750 millilitres of that um, built Hamber Dynex wax oil. So the whole can was used on the underside. This doesn't quite seem as, the final coat doesn't quite seem as thick as the other one. But maybe that's a good thing. Which one of these is best? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. They both look very similar. Um, I think I'm going to stick with 3125 because I know it and I like it. Um, this one won Practical Car Classics um, magazine test, oh, I don't know, 20 something years ago. Um, this man may be a lot better. I might do some research. Um, I've got what's left of three um, tubs of this uh, dinner troll and in the summer um, when it's a bit warmer I'm going to apply that. I'm lucky in that I've got a proper compressor and wax oil injection kit um, so that's what I'm going to use. I am in agreement with Steve wax oil is that clear stuff is generally rubbish. Um, price wise I, I paid I think it was £33 off eBay for two cans uh, it's 500 million a can um, this is £19 I got that on Amazon <coughs> a quick delivery and it's 750 mil I think that appears to be better value uh, for money quite like the the slightly thicker I think uh, dinner trough. Maybe somebody, somebody else far more intelligent than I, can determine exactly which is the best one.